waiting for my paper. I'm waiting for my paper. Actually, it's envelopes, but they are made of paper. Want to see if this works? Layered with parchment paper, so I can do more than a few at a time because I am an impatient person. We'll see how it goes. Buddy, dirty paintbrush here, recording from my phone at the moment because I just had to share the the I tried the coffee dyeing the paper in the oven using Dawn's method. I usually just let it air dry. So. Um, when she posted her video last week, one of the things on my mind was, huh, I wonder if you could layer between sheets of parchment and maybe get more done faster. So I will tell you, I tried that and what happens, obviously, which everybody probably already knew except for me, but I had to try it. The top layer gets done um, faster, obviously, because it's getting more of that hot air drying it out. Um, I, so you would have to, you know, leave it in there. I used 325. I was scared to go much higher because I'm just, I have a fear of setting the house on fire. I've had a stove fire before, so it kind of freaks me out. Um, so what I did is I had three layers of envelopes. And the funniest thing about, about this whole thing is that obviously all my envelopes are sealed now because I didn't open them up and I didn't like, uh, I should have maybe covered the adhesive with some Vaseline or something. <laughs> I don't know if I could put that in the oven. It might explode. Huh, I hope not. <laughs> the point is um, that I obviously um, didn't think that through, but that's okay because I can still just split them across the top with a letter opener and, and uh, seal them back shut with, with a pretty tape, like homemade washi tape or something. So that's no big deal. Um, it might be a little time saving just in the fact that you could dip several pieces of, of like uh, paper and get them on the tray at one time. And then rather than taking the tray out, dipping more paper, putting the next paper on, you're basically just putting like, let's say three layers on on part with parchment paper in between and then when the top layer gets dry you can take that off and you know then just put your next two back in and then when that top layer gets dry you can take it off so I don't know if it would really save much time or not um, I feel like maybe it would shave off a minute or so a couple minutes maybe just because let's say you're gonna do three layers you could do, or four layers, you could do, you know, dip all your paper at once, layer it, put it in, and then, you know, every seven minutes or so, pull your top layer off. So I let some of these air dry a little bit more. Some of them obviously turned out better than others when it came to full coverage. But A, I absolutely love the splotches on this, and I'm going to stop talking and I'm just going to handle them because the sound is amazing. So I'm totally digging the sound. That's my, <laughs> that's my thing. So uh, thanks everybody for watching the real quick uh, coffee dyed envelope clip. And uh, thanks Dawn for uh, letting me know <laughs> or letting me think about the fact that I could put them in the oven. And uh, let's just listen to coffee dyed paper with the dirty paintbrush.
Okay, I'm talking again because I have to point out that I love the, the edges right here. Uh, there was another one that I... Oh, this one. Let me see. Look at the, the drip marks there. Oh my gosh, those are so cute. If those just would have come out a little bit darker. Um, basically, I did this because I had leftover coffee from my pot. And... Um, so I just decided to go ahead and use that. But I, I, it's unfortunate. So I did all of this in one batch. Um, like I said, I removed the top layer every uh, as it got dry, close to dry or almost dry. Um, and then I have some um, parchment that's got some brown on it too, which is kind of cool. And it's wrinkled, which I kind of like. So that could be used for texture and collage. So you kind of get a twofer, I feel like. Um, one of my biggest problems that I have with not just crafting, but with everything, honestly, is that um, I I don't stick to something very long. So I like did one batch and then I was like, okay, that's too much work. Like, I'm terrible at that. And there's so many things that I want to try, but I'm so bad at just because it doesn't turn out perfect the first time or like last night. Um, I was doing the Dirty Dozen over at Becky's channel. I think, gosh, I think it was Becky. I get, sometimes I get that group of ladies confused. It was Becky. Um, I was over there and did, I think it was her, well, it was a new game, but I think it was still Dirty Dozen because there were 12 prompts. And like, I hated how my piece was looking. So I just got totally down and now I'm like, oh, should I take a break? I feel, you know... Like, I'm not worthy to have all this wonderful stuff and be able to play with it, but whatever. That's just me being me. Whoa, sorry. Make up your mind, Kim, light or not. Anyway, so I did want to go ahead and try this. It smells amazing, by the way. Although I have to say that I don't like the smell of coffee on my hand. Because I've washed my hands several times and it's not come out. Um, I love the smell of coffee brewing, and I like smelling it on the paper, but I don't like it on my hand. It's very odd. I'm strange. Um, by the way, I love... Did I say already that I love this? These turned out great. I don't care if it's like 100% coverage or not. It reminds me of those ink blotches. <laughs> I love them. Um, I think that's where coffee kind of pooled up as it was heating. Um, anyway... So, um, I wanted to make this real short and sweet, and I'm just going to upload this directly because, yeah, I'm burned out of editing right now. So, yeah, anyway, thanks everybody, and I hope everybody's having a great week. It's almost Friday, and it's almost the weekend, so uh, keep pushing, and we'll get there. Love y'all. Bye.